Hello and welcome to Math Movies with Miss Feuerbeck and Miss Faludi. Today I will be teaching you how to represent decimals. This to the, first we will be representing the decimal one tenth. This is also the same as the fraction one tenth. If I want to represent one tenth on this grid, which represents one whole, I can see that it is divided into ten equal size sections, which means that one tenth would be shading in just one column or one of those sections. That is also the same as ten hundredths because I can see that there are a hundred squares inside of this hole and I've shaded in ten of them. Now let's shade in one hundredth. This is the same as the fraction, one hundredth. What I can see is that here is my hole, and I can see that there are ten squares going this way and ten squares going this way, which means that it's an array made up of a hundred equal size pieces. That being said, if I want to do one hundredth, I'm going to shade in just one of those squares. That represents one hundredth. Now, here's something new. This decimal is one thousandth. It's also the same as the fraction, one thousandth. First, I'm going to look at this grid here. This grid here shows one thousand equal size pieces. Each of those teeny tiny little pieces is equal to one thousand, one one thousandth. And I know that because there are ten squares in 10 squares, so there's a hundred of those squares, and then in each of those squares I can see that there are 10 little rectangles. 10 times 100 equals 1,000. So 1 thousandth is like shading in just one of those teeny tiny rectangles. I also could imagine that in my hundredths grid, that inside each of these squares is 10 equal size pieces. and that if I'm shading in one thousandth, I'm just shading in one of those teeny tiny equal size pieces. So even though this grid is made up of a hundred equal size pieces, I can still represent one thousandth on it. Now I'm going to represent the decimal six tenths, which is also the same as sixty hundredths, which is also the same as six hundred thousandths. Let's start by showing six tenths or sixty hundredths because we're familiar with those. That would be like shading in six columns inside of this hundredths grid. That's four, five, six. So that is showing six tenths. That's also showing that there are sixty hundredths. Now, if I want to show six hundred thousandths, I can do the same thing on this grid. I'm still shading in one, two, three, four, five, six tenths, which is the same as sixty hundredths, but it's also the same as six hundred thousandths. Now I'm going to represent twenty-five hundredths, which is the same as two hundred fifty thousandths. Remember, twenty-five hundredths is also the same as one-fourth. So one way I can represent twenty-five hundredths is to shade in on a hundredths grid ten, twenty hundredths, and then five more hundredths. And on my thousandths grid, it would look exactly the same. One, two tenths, that's twenty hundredths, and then five more hundredths. And as you can see, they are exactly the same. This is 250 thousandths, and this is 25 hundredths. This decimal is 775 thousandths. So, I'm going to start by shading it in on a thousandths grid. First, I'm going to think about it place by place. I see that there's a 7 in the tenths place. That means I'm going to shade in seven tenths. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, I'm going to look at the hundredths place. There are seven hundredths. That means I'm going to shade in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares or seven hundredths. And lastly, I'm going to shade in five thousandths. That means I'm shading in five of these little rectangles here or about half of that square. So, just make that a little neater. Now, I can still represent the same decimal on a hundredths grid if I think about it in much the same way. First I had seven tenths, so again, if I shade it in place by place, that might help me. There's seven tenths, four, five, six, seven. Then I had seven hundredths. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have five thousandths. Now I can't see that there are like, that there are ten little rectangles like inside of these squares, but they're there. So if I think about that, there's one, two, three, then I'm shading in about half, it would be like shading in about half of that square. And again, they are exactly the same. This is 775 thousandths. This is also representing 775 thousandths. 38 hundredths. So I'm going to start with my hundredths grid, and that means I'm shading in 10, 20, 30, and then eight more hundredths. And on a thousands grid, it would look exactly the same. I would have 10, 20, 30, and then eight more. But that is the same as 380 thousandths, or 380 thousandths. 165 thousandths. So first I can shade in one tenth. I'm going to start with my thousandths grid because it goes to thousandths. There's one tenth. Next I have six hundredths. That means I'm going to shade in six of these squares. And then I have five thousandths, which means I'm shading in half of another one of those squares because there are five little rectangles there. So if I showed it on this grid, it would be again one tenth, then six more hundredths, and then half of another square to represent five thousandths. Because even though I can't see them, this rectangle is divided into ten equal sized pieces. So I've shaded in five of those thousands. 482 thousands. Okay, this is going to be the last one. So again, if I go place by place, I have four in the tenths plot, spot, which means I'm going to shade in four tenths. One, two, three, and four. Then I have an eight in the hundredths place, which means I'm going to shade in eight more squares. And then I have a two in the thousands place, which means I'm going to shade in two thousands. Now if I wanted to shade that on this grid, it's really going to look much the same. Here is my four tenths. It's like shading in four of these columns. 
Then I have eight more hundredths, which means I'm shading in eight squares here. And then I have two thousandths. So I'm imagining that there are two thousandths right there, and I'm thinking about that because this is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousandths. So this is 482 thousandths, and this is also 482 thousandths. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot about representing decimals to the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths.